national raid on defense. Today, we're at a home in Omaha, Nebraska, where we've installed an energy recovery ventilator and a radon mitigation system to reduce this home's radon levels, as well as improve the overall indoor air quality of the home. When the builder completed building this house, they did a radon test and found that the levels were eight picocuries per liter. So the builder paid to have this radon mitigation system installed in the home. The next step we took was installing an energy recovery ventilator to bring in some fresh air into this home that was actually pretty tight and had some very high chemical readings in the home as well as the particulate levels in the home were pretty high. The homeowner was concerned about radon but also concerned about overall indoor air quality for their uh, young family. Now the radon mitigation system is routed through the rim joist and down into the basement where it's drawing the air out from under the slab and then it comes up through this radon mitigation system and ventilates up there. Over here, this is actually a vent that's coming out of the energy recovery ventilator. It's actually blowing air out from the house. Around the corner, there's another vent like this and that's where it's drawing in the fresh air that then is going inside into the energy recovery ventilator. Okay, so now we're down in the basement and we've got the energy recovery ventilator here mounted on the wall next to the HVAC system. And here's how it works. So we've got air being pulled in from the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off and show you that we've got a duct here that's right down here that's coming in and there's a filter right here that's filtering the air coming in. It's crossing through the core and then up and into the house. That's your fresh air coming in, okay? Then over here, you've got air coming in from inside the house. We're pulling it from the returns actually in this situation. And that air is your poor air that's got radon in it. It's got chemicals in it, particulates. You know, it's the stale air that we want to remove. So that air is coming through and it's crossing with that incoming air and then going outdoors. By crossing the streams, not mixing, but crossing them, we're moderating the temperature as well as the humidity. And that's how we have this huge impact on indoor air quality without having the energy penalty of just opening windows and bringing in air. So the results we've seen at this house by installing a radon mitigation system, as well as an energy recovery ventilator have been huge. Uh, basically, we've taken the radon levels from eight picocuries down to 0.5 that's just like the outdoor areas. So we virtually eliminated the radon gas from the home. The largest impact we made on indoor air quality was the chemicals. They were measuring at 2,603 parts per million. Those are chemicals that are off gas from carpets and paints, furniture that's in the home that you breathe every day. Those are very high levels. After we installed the system, the levels dropped to near 200 it was like an 85% reduction in the chemicals in the air. The homeowner reports their home has never smelled better and they just got huge peace of mind for their uh, young family that the indoor air is, is very uh, clean and fresh and safe. Mm -hmm.